Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Pooja Rawat and in today's session I'll be discussing the current affairs related to agriculture and rural development. So in the next two, three session I'm trying to cover the entire current affairs for the month of July. All right, and then we switched back to the static part and uh, the current affairs of the August month will be completed in the first week of September. All right. So let's begin. And before we start, all those people who are here for the first time, do subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon. You can also join our telegram group wherein you can post your queries and you'll be updated with the upcoming videos and the exam notifications. Alright, so let's start our session. This is the first question and it says as per OECD FAO Agriculture Outlook Report 2021-2030. So these are the statements based on the uh, agriculture outlook report which is published by oecd and fao so oecd is your organization for economic cooperation and development all right and this is an intergovernmental economic organization okay so the government are the members of this organization and it presently consists of around 38 countries all right and fao is the food and agriculture organization which is a specialized agency of the united nations so this outlook report this agriculture outlook report is the combined effort of oecd and fao and they provide projection for different agriculture commodities for the next decade so 2021 2030 ke liye, uh, different agriculture commodities ke regarding is uh, report mein kuch projections jo hai, wo inhone di hai. All right. so first statement hai, global greenhouse gas emission from agriculture are projected to increase by four percent over the next 10 years with livestock accounting for more than 80 percent of this increase so you must be aware that uh, agriculture also contribute to the greenhouse gas emissions and presently around 10 to 11 percent uh, of share hai greenhouse gases ka, that is contributed by agriculture along with livestock population right so agriculture se kaise aap, uh, greenhouse uh, gas emissions hota hai? for example uh, soil carbon hai. So soil carbon which is sequestered form when you are doing it tilling then the sequestration hai, carbon sequestration will be disturbed and then it also uh, mixed with the air and uh, it converted into the carbon dioxide and also during the digestion process of uh, livestock for example cows and all so they release methane you know? and methane is also released in your rice field See, the rice field and the digestion process of these livestock they also contribute to the methane uh, production methane gas which is a, your a potent uh, greenhouse gas uh, greenhouse gas all right so that's how agriculture and livestock contribute to the greenhouse gas uh, increment now the sixth uh, second statement is over the coming decade global agriculture production is projected to increase by 1.4 percent per annum so every year there will be an increase of 1.4 percent in the agriculture production so this is the projection of this uh, report so this one is also correct so correct the statement would the option would be c both all right next question is uh, oecd fa agriculture outlook report 21 2030 has recently been published choose the correct statement with respect to it so this is an another question based on the same report so first statement is oil seed production is projected to increase by 1.3 percent per annum over the next decade. Okay, so her year oil seed ka jo production is 1.3 percent se increase hoga, and half of its supply would come from Asia, particularly India by 2030. So this is an important projection in India ke regarding and you will know Indian government is also pushing very hard and uh, putting a lot of effort in making india self-sufficient in the all seed production all right so this one is also correct so as a bola gaya hai ki jo uh, majority hoga majority of the all seed supply would come from asia and, and particularly from the india so this one is important and is correct all right second statement day india is expected to account for the largest share of the world's total sugar output by 2030 so 2030 में जो India का share होगा total agree, total sugar का production में और उसके supply में that would uh, India would be the largest share but ये statement wrong है 
सो इसमें लिखा गया है कि ब्राज़ील इज वुड बी द लार्जेस्ट शेयर वुड हैव द लार्जेस्ट शेयर ओके सो वुड रैंक फर्स्ट एंड दिस वुड बी फॉलोड बाय इंडिया ठीक है सो ब्राज़ील वुड बी फॉलोड बाय इंडिया एंड ऐसा बोला गया कि ब्राज़ील वुड अकाउंट फॉर अराउंड ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल शुगर आउटपुट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड इंडिया वुड अकाउंट फॉर अराउंड एटीन परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड टोटल शुगर आउटपुट बाई ट्वेंटी थर्टी so this statement was wrong only first statement is wrong or oh, right okay so a will be the correct answer and this is the detailed highlights or the important points of this agriculture outlook report right so first hai aapka average global food availability per person theek hai to per person jo food availability hogi that will be uh, increased by 4% percent theek hai per cat पर कैपिटा अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ एनिमल प्रोटीन ठीक है एनिमल प्रोटीन जो कि आपका एनिमल मास जो है लाइफ स्टॉक सेक्टर का बेसिकली जो लोग कंज्यूम करते हैं ठीक है एनिमल प्रोटीन सो दिस इज प्रोजेक्टेड टू इंक्रीज बाय इलेवन परसेंट और लाइट दैट मीन्स द कंजम्पन ऑफ द मीट वुड बी इंक्रीज नाउ द ग्लोबल एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्शन इज projected to increase by 1.4% per annum we have already discussed this aquaculture production is expected to overtake the captured fisheries production in 2027 so this one is important theek hai to marine fisheries jo normally hum karte hain isme aisa dekha ja raha hai ki aquaculture production jo hoga jo ki inland production ya fresh water production hota hai fisheries ka that would overtake this uh, capture fisheries like right? the marine fisheries by 2027 and would account for around 50% of the overall fish production by 2030 the next is global greenhouse gas emission from agriculture will increase by 4% and livestock would account for the 80 per, 18 uh, 80% of this increase so we have discussed this now the cereal production is expected to increase by 336 million ton this one is also important एंड इसमें ऐसे बोला गया है कि जो 50% परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल प्रोडक्शन इंक्रीमेंट होगा वीट में विल कम फ्रॉम थ्री कंट्रीज इंडिया रशिया एंड यूक्रेन ठीक है तो सीरियल प्रोडक्शन वोड इंक्रीज एंड वीट का जो 50% परसेंट इंक्रीमेंट होगा दैट विल कम फ्रॉम द इंडिया रशिया एंड यूक्रेन द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज द ऑल सीड प्रोडक्शन इज प्रोजेक्टेड टू इंक्रीज बाई वन पर एन और इसमें भी ऐसा कह गया है कि जो इंडिया होगा डैट विल अकाउंट फॉर द मेजर शेयर नाउ ब्राज़ील विल रिमेन द वर्ल्ड्स लार्जेस्ट शुगर प्रोड्यूसर फॉलोड बाय इंडिया सो ब्राज़ील वुड अकाउंट फॉर 21 परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स टोटल शुगर आउटपुट एंड इंडिया वुड अकाउंट फॉर द 18 परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स टोटल आउटपुट बाई ट्वेंटी मीट सप्लाई टू एक्सपैंड ऑब्वियसली हमने देखा था कि जो एनिमल प्रोटीन होगा दैट इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज so meat supply would also expand uh, over the, over this decade and will reach by 374 uh, million ton by 2030 an increase in global meat production is led mainly by the growth in the poultry production theek hai to meat supply mein jo increment ho raha hai production mein that would be mainly through the poultry production all right jo aapke hens ducks uh, ye sab cheeze geese wagaira jo aati hai because of them the meat supply would increase in the global market now the world milk production would also going to be increased at the rate of 1.7% per annum so milk production mein jo hai 81% is from the cow milk right the share of different uh, livestock agar hum dekhe in the milk is so cow milk accounts for 81% buffalo milk account for 50 15% and goat sheep and camel accounts for around 4% of the total milk production so this is going to be increased at the rate of 1.7% per annum and cotton production is also going to be increased at the rate of 1.5% per annum in sabhi projection mein jo important baat ye hai ki aapko ye dhyan dena hoga ki india ka jo share hai kin kin commodities mein it's going to increase for example it's going to increase in the uh, sugar supply in the wheat supply in the uh, oil seed production all right so this one is important and zyadatar jitni bhi agriculture commodities hain unka jo uh, projection hai wo positive hai increase increment hi hoga all right and uh, second important thing is aapko ye pata hona chahiye kaun publish karta hai all right and uh, yeah so this was all uh, whatever it is important in this report 
so keep that in mind now the next question is recently national research center on yak has partnered with national insurance company limited all right to insure the high altitude yak so high altitude jo yak hai unko insurance provide ki gayi hai ek partnership uh, hui hai national research center on yak along with national insurance company ke beech mein theek hai so there is a partnership between these two organization to uh, provide insurance to these uh, yaks तो बेसिकली देखा गया है कि इन दी प्रीवियस फ्यू ईयर्स अगर हम देखें इन द लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स देयर हैज़ बिन अ ड्रास्टिक डिक्रीज इन दी याक पॉपुलेशन ठीक है और ऐसा बोला जा रहा है कि क्लाइमेट चेंज की वजह से हैवी रेनफॉल हो रही है ये नॉर्मली किस स्टेट्स में होते हैं आपके लद्दाख सिक्किम हिमाचल प्रदेश अरुणाचल प्रदेश जो हाई ऑल्टीट्यूड एरियाज है वहाँ पर बेसिकली याक रियरिंग होती है और राइट एंड देर हैज़ बिन अ डिक्रीज इन देयर पॉपुलेशन बिकॉज ऑफ दी Uh, climate uh, changes and because of the diseases and the different uh, surgical strikes and all so in sabhi ke against jo yak population decrement ho raha hai ya they are dying due to all these reasons they will be insured all right by the national insurance company all right and this will give support to the yak owners so hame ye batana hai where is this nrcy situation so where is this national research center on yak is situated the options are arunachal pradesh assam sikkim and ladakh so yahan pe jo correct answer hai wo hai arunachal pradesh so this uh, research center comes under the ambit of icar and this is situated in arunachal pradesh in the dirang all right so remember this now the next question is consider the following statement with respect to the recently launched special livestock sector package so government has uh, recently announced this special livestock sector package uh, in the month of july only all right so statement hai yahan pe the package consists of rupees 9800 crore on the livestock development in the next 5 years so government is going to spend this much amount on the livestock development in the next 5 years starting from 2021 22 all right so this statement is correct now the second statement is rashtri gokul mission national program for dairy development national livestock mission livestock census and integrated sample survey will be merged together as the development program see to is livestock package jo government ne announce kiya hai isme basically jitni bhi schemes hain related to uh, livestock sector animal husbandry aur dairy development se related jitni bhi schemes hain usko dobara se realign kiya gaya hai all right and they have been divided broadly divided into three categories kuch kuch uh, jisko hum detail mein padhenge abhi so all these schemes rashtriya gokul mission and this dairy development program livestock mission so all these uh, programs are merged together as the uh, development programs so these have been subsumed subsumed under the development program and these will be the sub schemes under this broader program all right so both of these statement are correct and the correct option would be a uh, third only right. so let let us discuss about this package so cabinet committee on economic affairs has approved the implementation of this package the objective is to obviously boost the growth in the livestock sector you know the package hai aap infrastructure development mein spend karenge livestock sector ke development mein spend karenge so obviously there will be a growth in this sector <coughs> and thereby making the animal husbandry more remunerative see government is trying to double the farmers income you know and farmers income ko agar double karna hai to allied sector jo allied activities hai usko promote karne ki zarurat hai agriculture alone cannot contribute uh, to doubling this income of farmers all right so obviously they need to be allied sectors they need to uh, give push to these sectors so that farmers can have a secondary stable income right so uh, the purpose is to make this uh, sector remunerative to the 10 crore farmers who are already engaged in the animal husbandry sector so this was one thing then the amount this consists of around 9800 crore rupees and this would be spent on the livestock development over the next 5 years starting from this year all right now the pa- package has been designed by revising and realigning various components so different scheme different components have been revised and have been realigned uh, all right so whatever the schemes of the department of animal husbandry and dairy schemes so they have been realigned 
Now all these schemes will be merged into three broad categories. First one is your development program. So this will cover your Rashtra Gokul mission and your dairy development program, national livestock mission and all these sensors. All right. So next category is your disease control program. Disease control program, it, uh, it is renamed as the livestock and disease control. And this would combine your scheme. So presently, your scheme run over your livestock health and disease control scheme along with national animal disease control program. So both of these schemes would be merged and would be subsumed under this scheme of livestock health and disease control. All right. Now the third ca uh, category under this package is the infrastructure development fund. So infrastructure development fund can under up animal husbandry infrastructure development fund along with dairy infrastructure development fund. All right. And the third component would be dairy cooperatives and the farmer producer organization. So the infrastructure ka development fund, so this development fund would be spent on the uh, promoting the infrastructure of related to animal husbandry, related to uh, dairy development, right? And this will also going to support the dairy cooperatives and the farmer producer organizations. All right. So this is the third category. So broader uh, to three theme categories only aapki development programs and disease control programs and then your infrastructure development fund all right so the next question is and this one is your last question for today's session consider the following statement with respect to proprietary food product proprietary food product first statement hai. These are the products for which no identification standards have been prescribed under existing regulations but are generally manufactured using the permitted ingredients and additives. So this one is correct. Proprietary food products are those fruit products for which there is no standardization, no standards form by FSSI which normally food products for which standards are prescribed. So there are no such standards for these food products, but they are generally made or manufactured with the ingredients which are permitted by FSSAI. Okay, so the additives that they are using, food additives, color, ke liye ya, um, taste enhancers, which we use kar rahe, is product ko banane ke liye. These ingredients are permitted by FSSAI, but there is no such standards for the composition or for the packaging, labeling, storage is tarike ke koi standards nahi hote in ke liye right second statement hai, a conditional licensing framework for proprietary food products has been proposed by the fssai that is your food safety and standard authority of india so fssai has recently proposed this conditional licensing framework for these products so it has been seen that the proprietary food product ka market penetration kafi zyada hai but since there is uh, no such standards which has been prescribed for these food products, so they are lacking or they are avoiding the compliance related to the composition of the product or the labeling or packaging of these products are not up to standard. Okay? So uh, consumers ko protect karne ke liye FSSI has come up with this conditional licensing framework for these food products. All right. So both of these statements are correct and the correct option would be C here. So this was all about today's session. We'll see you in the next session. All right. And we'll cover the entire current affair for the month of July in the upcoming uh, one or two session. All right. So yeah. I'll see you in the next session. Till then, keep working hard. Keep studying.